on Explorers, Brandon and Brandon, your boy, 6'4", Explorer with a red stigma. I got a very cool spot for you guys today. It's a beautiful house. This whole area just got bought up. So these people just up and left. It's maybe been I've, under a year from what I've heard, but the whole area is starting to close up. There's signs everywhere. All the houses are abandoned. This one's got a ton left. You guys are gonna absolutely love it. I'm excited to show you guys, so let's get in it. Let's get exploring. I'm gonna start here at the front door, where somebody opened up quite roughly. But I've already seen a couple videos of this place. So that's what happens once one person is here the the people start to show up quick so we got to try to get here before the vandalism starts but a lot of the times it's not normally explorers that open the places it's going to be just vandals that live in the town that get wind of it before we do This is interesting, this little plant set up here. Just a bunch of vines. But those paintings are very nice. Big, beautiful. Now the fire alarm's beeping. You can hear that, because again, it's not been too long. This area, it's been maybe under a year for sure. This house is in kind of rough condition though. But all the houses, they're all mostly boarded up. You can tell that this place is going to be gone soon because of all the signs and there's a few trees that have been cleared. The mom and her daughter. Some books too, that's cool. Power. There's power as well. That's nice. Some serious legs on that table. I'm a fan of of thick legs. I'm not sure what this is all about. It looks like pieces of orange and cinnamon. Is that some voodoo stuff? No, I'm joking. Still got some beverages, glasses and cups. Oh, <laughs> I thought that that little bottle was inside. But no, it just sits on top. And out. So this house has to be a little dated with with intercoms like that. I'm sure there was a little bit of renovations done, but we don't know that it was built. I'd probably guess in the '80s sometime. That's cool. Old CD player. There seems to be a fair bit of stuff behind. But I like the tile. The cupboards are still very nice. The thick old wood. They might be original cupboards to the house. I'd be guessing so since they're going all the way around. They look like they're the OG the OG cupboards. I just want to show you that light too. That's nice. Look at everything melting out the window. Finally, we got some sun and a beautiful day. Things heavy duty. Ooh. Whatever's in there has got the wood stuck. Which I guess is a good thing. We don't want to open it and get that smell. 
the fridge is gone so we can't open the fridge for everybody sorry about that so this is best before 2026 It's got a quite the abandoned smell to it in here. I'm trying to think of what the smell is. What am I trying to explain here? It's almost like a like a fresh dirt kind of kind of smell almost. But let's head upstairs. And just there's quite the amount of dirt dust and stuff like that around making me think that they probably knew ahead of time probably got bought out a year or so ago before so they possibly knew and just stopped really taking care of the house it looks like a tiny laptop Nintendo Switch. Nice gold on the faucets there. Maybe even somebody was squatting here because the mirror is not hung up, just sitting there. I've noticed that sometimes as well. Now it looks like there's a garage, so we'll be checking that out as well. The ceilings, they're decently high in here though. I'm enjoying that. Oh, someone was trying to clean up a little bit. But like this door is also, no, well, doesn't look like it's been kicked open. That's nice groove textured glass there's a bunch of random things not much going on there the window's open that's helping it be a little bit fresh in here <laughs> coffee grinder and all this stuff yeah someone was definitely squatting here for a while Very nice. Oh, let's get a little bit better in picture. There we go. And there's water dripping inside. I just seen that fall. And that house over there looks abandoned also, so we may have to check that one out at some point. Stairs to the main floor. <laughs> An intercom in here too. I didn't expect that. This whole street right here is closed off. You cannot use it anymore. So that house is definitely going to be abandoned. Looks like there's another one that burnt down there. That's pretty crazy. Hmm. I've got my light on just because there's shadowy areas in the house. Sorry if it messed up the, the view out of the window a little bit. Got a picture? Somebody's drawing. Very cool. This old wood cabinet. There's also these details up here. I'll make sure to point those out. Then here's somebody lying right by that wall. There's all the handprints. 
Oh, <laughs> this was her room. She left that picture so everybody knows. What a quarter eaten bag of chips. Even that's got 2024 October. I was talking about this here. We got some pictures again. But again, no sad story here. This place was bought by developers, so these people took what they wanted, just what they needed. And off they went. <laughs> it can't be from the little girl. That's got to be from a squatter, that knife sitting right there. But again, I tell you guys, be careful. There's always knives hidden in abandoned houses. Got to watch your back while you're in here. Oh, Merry Christmas display. That's cool. I wonder if they all move when you turn it on. A little Acer laptop thing. Surprised they didn't take those. Figure they'd have a little bit of value or maybe even just something left. School starts in two weeks. Yeah, very nice. Little Christmas thing. Get in here, turn around. They took the TVs, they took the Xboxes, but they didn't take the controller. <laughs> a lot of calculators, some Stephen King books. I found a fridge for you guys, <laughs> so I opened it. Nothing in there. Stephen King. Beautiful. They're in good quality too. Somebody needs to uh, send those off to the uh, the Goodwill Salvation Army, something like that. And I'm not sure if that's squatters' clothes, stuff left from the people. And there's the closed off street. It is no more. The Insomnia by Stephen King. Big books. That's very cool. Michael. Michael worked at Walmart. That's cool. Eight bit armies. Very neat. Well, that's from here. We will go and check out the basement. It's somewhat a basement. You'll see what I mean when we get down there. flash but see like yeah somebody must have been kicking doors open or something and then put duct tape to hold it back on I'm gonna have to assume that was a squatter you know what there's no shower here it's pretty nice you got the little candles and everything set up yeah there's no shower here not on the two floors we've seen anyway there must be an extra bathroom washroom in the basement i'll meet you there we'll make it down these nice little stairs Some nice paintings again fungus and a tree and leaves all right Alright, alright. Oh, 
so there is an actual basement. So that's what I was saying. This isn't the basement, but it seemed like it was possibly. I don't know wherever that beep's coming from. Sounds like we're getting closer. Got a bunch of clothes. Weird old washroom. It smells funny in here. I don't even know where that beep beep's coming from. Maybe there's a sensor set up to this door that I cannot see. You can hear something beeping away. So there's a beep plus there's the fire alarm. It's mm. a nice color green. You don't see that much. It's because it's not actually the nicest color. It's just different. I guess that's the word I was looking for. The upstairs had the same light. Nice glass ball. This house is weird, the way that it's built. Switches here, there's switches in other areas. It's kind of strange, you have to do things yourself. It's nice with the wood panel. A sofa left. Mirror. Somebody was stuffing garbage down the, the vent. I'm not sure what garages or which go with this house. I'll figure that out and film and post accordingly. Another Xbox controller. Some guns and stuff. Is that for the Wii? It's a laser tag. See, like here, it looks it's trying to look a little bit more modern. This room. It looks a little different than the rest of the house. Another nice table here. Heavy duty wood. I wonder if it was a painting squatter who was here. An art savvy squatter. Empty green room, the washroom. All right, let's make our way down these stairs, see just exactly what's going on. I do, the water's on the other side. Door doesn't look like it should lock on us. We should be all right. Go Leafs, go. It's the number one Leafs fan lives here. NB plus MB. Ooh, smells damp down here. Yikes, it's right by my head. Yeah, look at the mold going on here. Ooh. So this house is definitely flooded. I'm gonna say maybe it's been, maybe it's been a while. Panda man, what's happening? I love you, brother. Thanks for keeping us safe. I wonder, there's an elephant. I'm starting to wonder if maybe it's been longer, longer than a year, especially with this going on in the basement.
So I, I've got a couple shirts on. I got a Long John shirt on as well. Two of them actually. Look at the fuzz. So I'm I'm covering my face real good with that and with my hand right now. Please forgive me. Forgive me for not having my mask. And sorry that uh you may not be able to hear me. Let's take a peek over. See just what's happening. Everything seems to be empty, so, and the drawers were all open everywhere. I'm guessing there's not going to be anything in them. That's nuts. One second. All right. We've got our mask now. We are safe. Almost looks like it's one of those things for uh, condoms that you'd have in the in the washrooms. That's a cool looking bar. But this mold down here is something else. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. The nice cones on the ceiling. Like, look at that. That's got to be more than a year. Never seen mold like that happen that, that fast. <clears throat> this seems to be where the fridge ended up. Down in the basement, look, even the punching bag's moldy. Get warm in my mask. Some printers, computer stuff. A whole lot of rubbish. It wasn't before, it was somebody's property and somebody's stuff, but the way it's been all thrown around, definitely uh, been rummaged through. Alright. This is pretty bad. Tiny area under here. Oh. See just exactly what's going on. Got old school strolling. Some computer monitors. More computer monitors. That's pretty nice. Ew. Filled with water. All right. Let's uh, continue to not touch anything. Okay. That's probably best for everybody. Look at this white mold on everything. That's why. All right. So from here, I'm going to take a bunch of pans and pictures as I leave. You guys just run out of here right now. Just as fast as you can go. Right out front, get some fresh air, and I will see you guys <laughs> really quick. So we're going to come out these doors here. I noticed there was a... There's a van sitting here. Now this is a different house. That will be a different video. Check that out. 
I left the keys in and everything with a Cuba 2000 CD. That's pretty cool. Very cool. You don't normally see that dark color much. Smells like a barn in here. A whole lot of stuff hanging around. That trunk right there is really cool. Button's still working for the garage. I wonder if it'll open up. RR1 Dundas, Ontario, Canada. Nairn McQueen. I'd keep a lot better stuff than that in there. <coughs> Got the Red Rider. That's very cool. I like that old style box. Sorry, let me fix the... The gimbal likes to move around, right? And as I move and it moves, I tend to confuse it sometimes. Put on these bike helmets. gonna go slow let you guys take a peek at everything see what's there there's something really cool that I don't notice and point out throw it in the comments for everybody please it's, smell bad in that corner smell like real bad little Caesars <laughs> I know that's strange but it smelled like little Caesars there's a lot of food here, so that could be what's going on. Got some DVDs, fishing rods. Big giant picture frames. That lantern's great. Very, very cool. Green lantern. The top screen, you know? Oh, that was broken glass, but it's like a plastic. I wonder why you'd be saving that. I guess maybe not saving it. That's why it's in a bin out here. All right? Oh, yeah. That's uh, a whole lot of mattresses and a box. Another helmet over there. Very cool. Very cool. Last little surprise before we do the intro and head home. I'm not going to film those other places today. It's getting too dark. I had to come after work. So I will get those on the weekend or after another day of work. Thank you all for joining me. All right, everybody. What do you guys think of this spot, eh? Very, very cool. So that fresh earth smell that I mentioned that you could smell, that was the mold in the basement. That was that dirty smell. Horrible, disgusting. I ran outside right away as soon as I was done in that basement. My mask is still sitting out there with my bag. But oh my God, that was bad down there. Really bad. This house is so cool. It has to be more than a year. I'm gonna try to figure it out, but that seems to be the actual truth to it but does this house just not seem like it's way older than a year abandoned 
But I hope you guys all like this one. Like it, subscribe it, share it. Thank you for the comments, for the love, for the views, for all your support. Brandon O'Bannon, and I'll catch you on the next Explore. Ciao.